Assalamualaikum and good day everyone. Uh, my name is Maraja Omar. I'll be sharing with you information on treaties, customary law and other sources of international humanitarian law. As for introduction, let me tell you briefly the content of this video. Firstly, the topic will outline the main sources as well as other sources of international law. Secondly, the, the distinctive features of the sources are highlighted in the discussion. And thirdly, the topic also touches on the increasingly important role of soft law in international humanitarian law. If you were to look at the diagram, you can see that the, the smaller circle of A that represents international humanitarian law is placed inside a larger circle of B that represents public international law. This shows that International humanitarian law is a subset of public international law. In other words, we can say that international humanitarian law is an integral part of public international law. Sources of international law is the same with the sources of public international law. And the most often quoted of sources for public international law is Article 38.1 of the Statute of the International Court of Justice. According to Article 38.1, Statute of International Court of Justice, Article 38.1a is International Convention, aka also known as Treaties, Article 38.1b, International Custom, as evident of general practice accepted of, as law, also known as International Customary Law, Article 38.1c, the general principle of law recognized by civilized nations, and Article 38.1d, judicial decision and the teachings of the most highly qualified publicists as subsidiary means for the determination of rules of law. Treaties and customary law or international customary law are the main sources of international humanitarian law. As for treaties, the examples are for, convention, for, for Geneva Convention of 1949, Additional Protocol of 1977, Hague Convention, Weapon Treaties, example 1980 Convention on Certain Conventional Weapons, as well as 2008 Convention on Cluster Munition. For customary law, there are online resources available on ICRC website. General Principle of Law, Judicial Decision, Relation, re resolution adopted by International Conference of the Red Cross and Red Crescent Movement are the other sources of international humanitarian law. If we were to look at general principle of law, the examples are principle of good faith, principle of non-retroactivity, principle of distinction, principle of proportionality, and principle of legality. For judicial decision, we refer to decision of the ICJ, the decision of ICC, International Criminal Court, and the decision of International Criminal Tribunal of former Yugoslavia or International Criminal Tribunal for Rwanda. And the example of cases would be the persecutor versus Dasko tactic. For a solution from conference are adopted from the ICRC, IFRC and International Red Cross societies. These are the example of update, updated commentaries for the relevant Geneva Convention. Moving along to soft law as other sources of international humanitarian law. Soft law refers to rules that are neither strictly binding in nature nor completely lacking legal significance. In the context of international law, soft law refers to guideline, policy declaration or codes of conduct with set standard of conduct. However, soft law are not directly impossible. In the field of international humanitarian law, example of soft law is United Nations Guiding Principle on Internal Displacement 1998, United Nations Basic Principle and Guideline on the Right to a Remedy and Reparation for Victims of Gross Violation of International Humanitarian Light Law and Serious Violation of International Humanitarian Law 2005. As for conclusion, there is a need to stress that being part of public international law, the sources of international humanitarian law are analogous to the latter. The sources of international humanitarian law are normally categorized into two kinds. That is, the main sources and the other sources. The main sources of international humanitarian law are treaties and custom. 
general principle of law and references are the other sources of international humanitarian law. That concludes our topic today. Thank you very much.